Sri Lanka has been recently entangled in economic crisis and Sri Lanka also owes huge money as debt to China. Also in 2017, China was given a 99-year lease for the port in exchange for $1.1 billion. Sri Lanka is bounded by contract and debt obligations to follow. China has seized the chance of Sri Lankan helplessness to needle India on its crucial Independence Day Eve. China, in addition to tracking Indian assets in South India, there is also another motive in this step. It is part of global propaganda strategy to show who dominates crucial region in geopolitical domain. China does this in South China Sea, Kowloon Valley, Taiwan Strait, and now in Indian Ocean. This is to send message to global countries that China has climbed dominant position and they need to do business with them. For instance, in South Asia, there are countries which are fence-sitters between India and China. For instance, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Nepal. China show of dominance create a pressure on these countries to do business with it and favor it in tricky situation where India is involved. And this is also part of psychological warfare. China war strategy is based on Sun Tzu art of war. They bring in important learning from this war doctrine in real geopolitical situations. One of the important quotes of Sun Tzu on psychological warfare is, all warfare is based on deception. China believes that India cannot be intimidated as other Asian neighbors like Japan, Myanmar or other Southeast Asian countries. India stand in power with China on many areas, be it manpower, largest standing army, military technology, land mass and more. India has more war experience than China. Therefore, a psychological attack is required so that the Chinese dragon can create an impression that it is powerful than Indian elephant. That is the reason for China to create ports and encircle India with a strategy called string of pearls. Though China claims that it was only for trade significance, the ulterior motive for China to lease these ports is to harbor critical spy ships and equipments and monitor one of the busiest maritime traffic in the world, the Indian Ocean. Now it is using these ports and the ship was sent to show that the string of pearl is active and China will not step back on its move no matter how much India protests. China has created this scenario in, in Himalayan border as well. Now it is bringing it to the sea as part of diversionary and psychological tactics. Now if we are looking into the specification of Yongwang 5 ship, it is kept secret by China. Mostly it is identified as research vessel. However, it was instrumental in monitoring many space launch and trajectory of aerospace vehicles. It is intended operation in Sri Lankan post is not known. However, it has the capability to monitor missile test space vehicle launch from Indian eastern coast such as Sri Harikota. India recently has enhanced missile testing which ranges from BrahMos modified versions to Agni latest editions. This Chinese ship can collect real-time data of these launches and understand how BrahMos or Agni behaves. Whether Yong Wang is tracking this or not, China has started a psychological warfare on Indian Ocean as well. The psychological warfare of China against India is not recent but goes back in history. Beijing is pursuing this conventional strategy of psychological warfare to eventually urge India to concede without any actual armed conflict. For instance, in 1962, the Chinese soldiers used to play the Lata Mangeshkar and Mohammad Rafi songs in order to befriend Indian soldiers and convince them to leave their forward positions. Similar stunts were observed in recent Galwan conflict as well. China had put up loudspeaker at Finger 4 area of Pongong Lake, played Punjabi songs to distract Indian troops. This is to instigate, distract and divert attention of India from other clandestine operations. Is Yuan Wang ship in Indian Ocean is to distract India from other major Chinese activities near or in Himalayan border. So far Indian reaction is reserved and it is monitoring the activity. India will be planning on how to handle unpredictable Sri Lanka as well, which is entangled in its own issues. Stay tuned for more updates on this. Thank you.